before. I don't know. Oh, oh. hey, hey, Instagram. It's me. T. T. From the past, let's take the transit to bed. Hey, I got something to read to you first. Before I start. Da, 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 da. I got this off of the internet. I got this off of... Uh, Actually, it was uh, uh, the, the Instagram right here. Here we go. Our mistake, the mistake we Africans made, was to have forgotten that the enemy never withdraws sincerely. He never understands. He capitulates, but he does not become converted. Our mistake is to have believed that the enemy had lost his combativeness and his harmfulness. If Lumumba is in the way, Lumumba disappears. Hesitation in should have been denounced and fought. These are words of uh, Franz Fanon. You need to hear me and Anthony. And I leave it at that. <laughs> they got to gotta look it up. You know what I mean? But uh, I heard this, uh, uh, Dr. Gerald Horn was uh, uh, interviewing this author. And the, the author was talking about uh, uh, Robert F. Williams, you know, Negroes with Guns. I got that book. I, well, I bought that book back in, the, back, in the, back in the day, the 60s. I had that. I read that book, right? Uh, and one of the things is, uh, you know, they, they, he's saying that, well, he named Robert F. Williams, was saying like, nah, I'm not a, I'm not a socialist, I'm not a communist, I'm an internationalist. I'm going like, hmm. But usually I think of myself as a globalist or something like that. But you know, but globalism, you know, you don't be a globalist. That that has a bad connotation. You know what I mean? Internationalist sounds pretty good, but I decided that I'm an intergalactarian. Is that better? Yeah, I'm an intergalactarian. I'm trying to skip a few things, just in case, you know, just in case, you see what happens? Okay. Anyway, but this is important, because right now, I was just, uh, we, uh, in fact, let me just give you a preview. This is uh, this, this is the end of, end of what, what month is this? Uh, August, uh, September, so now, uh, I'm going to bring this up in October, so I'm going to give you a preview, right, before I get back to reading uh, Dr. Franz Fernand again. Uh, and that is this. Uh, there's a, a movement to get, uh, I heard this about a few weeks ago, about a month ago, uh, to get the United States kicked out of the, the UN because, well, <laughs> for a number of reasons, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking like, all right, that's what I heard. I said, well, that's a good idea. Now I hear they got this petition to kick the United States, like Article 6 or something like that. I'll list it somehow. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the you, you, you sign a petition to get the U.S. kicked out of the UN because the the U.S. is doing all sorts of. It's 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 it it, it doesn't uphold the, uh, the 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 spirit, <laughs> even the letter of the law of the U.N. Right. So why should it even be there? Right. You want to be much. My point is, something's going to be happening. So I just want to alert you that this is going to be a short one. Why? Because, yeah, because like I said, this is going to be. I'll I'll uh, in October I'll go more into details about this stuff. Right now, right now, just uh, to show you that uh, I just bring that up, right? Uh, because, uh, let's see, part of the things, just a second, I got to sneeze. Ah Pardon me. <laughs> but part of it, you know, like for instance, uh, I'm into reparations. Uh, well, lineage reparations. Let me be more specific. Right? Uh, get that on Tuesday. We'll talk more about or maybe even tomorrow. Rather, yeah, maybe it's tomorrow or Friday. What day is today? What is it? No, I'm probably, probably, probably Friday. A little bit more than that. But the thing is, uh, with all the all, all the all the conflict that's happening, and the U.S. is trying to do this and that, they're all over the place with all this. Their their, their agencies that have the, the, the they have the paramilitary people or their elite military, and each agency has their own little, uh, uh, you know, like the the, the army has theirs. The, 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 the Navy has theirs, the CIA has theirs, the, 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 you know, um, the, they got private mercenaries, they, they, they're all, they, they got a bunch of people running around doing all kinds of stuff all over the planet, right? You know, people are doing stuff with Venezuela, they do it, he don't, da -da, he don't, da -da. it's a mess, but it's always the U.S. But when you say the U.S., you have to think about it, it's the, it's the corporations that use the U.S., 
to do what they need to do. Let's put it that way. Okay? So uh, so we got to fight against, not fight against it. I don't fight against nothing. I, I, don't, I don't believe, I don't think we should fight. Because when you fight, the, the, the auto, automatic, automatically connotes. Is that a word, connotes? Oh, the brother used a word that he didn't even know if it's a word or not. That automatically says that you're reacting against something. So I don't be fighting. I just be doing. You just do your thing, do your thing, and let people react to you. And when, when they try to react to you, you're already in the dust. You see what I'm saying? So do what you need to do. Um, and uh, in fact, this uh, uh, this uh, 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 Article Six of the UN trying to get the uh, change that is the thing trying to get the U.S. kicked out. Think of it like this. Okay, let me let me. Can I speak to some Americans, some Black Americans, some uh, uh, American Africans or African Americans or colored people or Negroes or whatever, Black people, whatever whatever we used to be, right? One of the great joys I had uh, this year. Was it early this year? I think it was this year. Whenever he was last year, was, was that Errol Maitland, Errol Maitland, my comrade, my comrade in arms. Errol Maitland came with, was coming through uh, South Africa. I met him in Cape Town. We had a few hours, but just I think it was just so. When, when you're hanging out with a real comrade, you know, and when I say, let me, let me try to explain what, what a comrade is, right? But in my books. See, I grew up in the, in the, in the I, I was part of the, the, the 60s movement, you know what I mean? Blah, 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 the, the black arts movement, the black, black, black power, Ungawa, black power movement, right? And we would have meetings, right? And so, say for instance, meetings, we would have sessions. Let's call them sessions, right? So you start at 6 o'clock at night discussing a point. Man, be, be 6, six o'clock in the morning, you still would be da, 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 da. And the thing is, you wouldn't leave you. You gotta, you gotta prove your point, right? So what, what, what really happened, it's, you know, back then there wasn't a lot of drugs. It was just like smoking cigarettes, basically. It was smoke-filled rooms, cigarette smoke-filled rooms, right? But you had your point of view, and you were hammering this stuff out. People wouldn't get all miffed and all. Oh, you hurt my feelings. No, you gotta do your point. It's like it's like it's like a, 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 it's like the dozens for real. You know what I mean? And so and, and so what happens is when you end it, you you end it, and you you was on 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 an accord, right? To do what you need to do, but you would. That's because you battled with this person all night long. You wasn't like enemies and stuff. You were still comrades because you used the same purpose to get rid of uh, the, the, to get rid of the yoke of, of, of racism, white. What do we call white supremacy? To get rid of you know, you know to beat up on the man. <laughs> just, I don't know what, whatever you want to say, right? So with El, it was just so wonderful because we were talking about stuff. In fact, we was at this. We was at the 40, forty-eight bar, uh, and we would. Intensely going at it, right? And this uh, this other brother, I think it was from uh, from uh, Angola. He, he he came over. He said, "Oh, brothers, I didn't want to disturb you, but you know, I was so I was just uh, I'm, I'm gonna put words. In, I was intrigued that you brothers would be going at it. You seem to be friends. I don't. You know, he just didn't understand. Okay, you know, black people. Either. Most people do not understand uh, black people, Americans, whatever. You just don't understand, right? So anyway, but it was such a joy just to. Be around one of my own, a, a true comrade, you know, a, 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 a true fighter, a true, a true trench guy. In fact, if you ever in a in a situation, the question you ask when you would meet these people, there's a, a a military term comes from World War One, right? Who would you want to be in a, in a trench with? Who would you want to be stuck in a trench with? Trenches like when they're in the battles of shot and all stuff. Well, who would you want to have have your back in a trench? That, that's that's who you, you want. You, you see what I'm saying? Okay. One of the things that uh, the Arrow was with this group, you know, of course, you know, we're all older, but you know, Arrow's, you know, Arrow, you know, he hangs out with, you know, with, with, with more whatever people, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly with the downtrodden. I ain't got no whatever, right? But one of the people in the group was the daughter of, uh, of uh, uh, William Patterson. Uh, is it, yeah, we pass it. My job is swoop. Look, the cat that, with along with Paul Robeson, bought the the whole we charge genocide uh, to the UN. But so his daughter was there. You see, so I mean I better you know, but I didn't I didn't I didn't, I didn't interview or nothing like that. Maybe I go in the states. Maybe I interview. Well, who knows? My point is this, right? When they say we charge genocide, uh, you know, uh, him and Paul Robeson did that. 
back then, I, could, I think it was 1954, whenever it was. Uh, then they were bringing the U.S. upon charges of genocide against black people in the United States. You know, now think about it, right? Now, then all of a sudden, late years later, people said, well, we should have reparations go to the United States. No, you don't go to the U.N. for reparations. We charge genocide because it's against certain conventions of the U U.N., you see? So, so I'm just saying, look, from Cali House to, to Queen Mother Moore to now reparations are now up on the thing right now. Well, now, now as we do that, my whole focus now, because, you know, I'm, I'm an internationalist, I'm an intergalactarian. Right. I said, oh, now they get they're working on that. Fine, I'll do a little bit of work on you're working on that. Let's go back to the Superman of last century. Yo, know, Paul Robeson, my man, which Ruck, I graduated Rutgers too. Well, Robeson, graduated Rutgers too. You know, I, I lived I lived on the same street that, that, that Paul Robeson lived on Lee Avenue, right? I, hey, I, I, I owned a house in, in the same place in in Somerville, New Jersey, where he went to high where he went to high school at. So I've been I've been following Paul Robeson's trail. I mean, he's all in my my being. So I have an obligation, right? You know, I got to continue the work that Paul Robeson and, and 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 Brother Patterson did. You know, which is that go back to UN. We charge genocide, but not. But what we're gonna do is rather than saying we charge genocide like that. What we're gonna do is get the UN get the US kicked out of the UN. That way the UN can go on to the genocide, to, to deal with the genocide. You see what I'm saying? And and with them not there, you know what I mean? We can bring because what's what's happening is the corporations, everybody's using the US and their whatever to continue the systematic systematic the systemic the systemic stuff that they do be it racism, be it corporatism, whatever, fascism, whatever they do, they use the U.S. and then they use these little lawmakers or whatever have you. I mean, you know, this little economy. You can recollect for from some, some podunk district, and then you can get up there and say, and, you know, they're, they're in Mali, they, they, they kicked us out and we need to do something about that. Well, you ain't never been to Mali. You know nothing about Africa. Some some podunk, you know, a white boy, you know, they're going to be, be, be starting off at, at, at the Congress, in the Congress to make a law that that that, that uh, 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 we could send troops into you know, into Africa to do what? Get out of here! Get t t t t t t. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up because it's a global Wednesday. So I want to read this thing. I might do a little interpretation here. One more time. Dr. Frank Fanon uh, wrote way back when. Ready? Goes like this. Our mistake. The mistake we Africans made, I'm talking about Africans worldwide, was to have forgotten, we've forgotten that the enemy, the enemy of Africans, I'm defining Africans, and now I'm defining Africans as people who have humanity. To be on the continent of Africa, you have to imagine, if you don't have your humanity, you go someplace else. <laughs> it's as simple as that, right? We forgot, we have, we have, uh, what we, what we do, we've forgotten that the enemy was never, uh, never withdraw sincerely. You know, white men speak a fucking tongue. <laughs> they say so, no, 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 right? He never understands. He, 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 he not go ahead. Well, maybe we do understand. Be like that S person, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what you're saying, but I'm ignoring what you're saying because I've got my own agenda, right? He capitulates. Oh, oh, oh you're right. Okay, you, you caught me with my drawers down. Oh, I understand. Whatever. But he does not become converted. Our mistake is to have believed that the enemy had lost his combativeness. He ain't, he ain't fighting no more. Oh, I give up. I'm a roach on my back. And his harmfulness. If Lumumba was talking about pictures, Lumumba was talking about stuff, you know, betraying all stuff. And then the boot of the, of the car, you know, the, 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 the. If Lumumba's in the way, Lumumba disappears. Lumumba becomes unalived, as you would say these days, right? Hesitation in murder. Hesitation in murder. Hesitation in getting rid of people that's in your way or in their way has never characterized imperialism. It's an imperial model. Imperialist model. 
It is a fact that in Africa, this day, today, this very day, this epoch, this time period, in Africa today, traitors exist. People who do not believe, who have no humanity, who do not believe in Africa, they exist right now. They should have been long ago denounced 